Lily is a mythic assassin released during the Godzilla season on May 2nd, and I'm gonna break her down for you fast. She used to be a human girl, but was cursed to never speak again, and transform into a human plant firefly chimera by an evil plant in the Enchanted Woods. Lily will also be joining Cordelius in the Enchanted Trio. She has 8,400 HP and moves very fast. She also has two traits, one that allows her to charge her super from staying close to brawlers like Buzz or Cordelius, and the other keeps her footsteps invisible, as she is literally a silent assassin. Lily's main attack is called Thorn in the Side. With this, Lily stabs multiple targets in front of her with her thorns. She does 2,400 damage per hit, and the range of this attack is very small at just over 3.5 tiles. She has only one ammo though, and this reloads at a very fast pace of only 0.55 seconds, but this also means that she can't burst down targets. Lily's super is called Flourish. She aims her projectile at the enemy in a straight path, and if it lands, it deals a moderate 2,000 damage and teleports her behind the target. This is great for covering her biggest weakness. The super is pretty long, coming in at a range of 10 tiles, and it takes about 3-4 to four hits to charge her super, but it doesn't go through walls. Her super also recharges the super a little over one third of the way as well. Lily's first gadget is called Vanish. This allows Lily to enter the Shadow Realm for 3 seconds. This is an interesting gadget since it can work in multiple ways. You can use this when one of your teammates is taken into the Shadow Realm to assist them against an enemy Cordelius. You can also use it when a Cordelius teammate takes an enemy to the Shadow Realm to assist them in getting that kill. It can be used to sneak up onto enemies without them noticing since unlike invisibility, they don't know where Lily is till she pops out of the Shadow Realm. Finally, you can use it in retreat to get away from enemies that are rushing to you, but you don't heal up in the Shadow Realm, so use it wisely. Lily's second gadget is called Repot. The next super that Lily uses becomes a throne attack, and Lily teleports to wherever that super lands, regardless of whether it hits an opponent or not. This is great since Lily's super can't go through walls, but now she can assassinate opponents by getting over walls. The super's range remains the same with it being 10 tiles. However, the gadget also allows Lily's super to hit multiple targets. Lily's first star power is called Spiky, and this enhances her next basic attack after teleporting by 50%. Unusually, this doesn't work on all the enemies, but the ones who are immediately close to Lily get the full brunt of this attack. Lily's second star power is called Vigilance, and with this, she gains 15% movement speed if an opponent is within the range of her supercharge radius. This should greatly help her pursue or predate or run away from enemies. Overall, I think Lily's mechanics allow her to be an effective assassin. She can safely get into the face of an opposition with her tentile super without fear of death on the way like you would if you were a fang, but with her lack of burst potential, she'll likely die when she gets there if you aren't careful. With her vanish gadget, she can go into the shadow realm on command and use it to get past any enemy blockade, get to an objective on the map, or run away from enemies. Spiky will enable her to take out many more targets as it'll let her dole out a whopping 6,000 damage in one go. And with her fast reload speed and semi bulk, she shouldn't have much difficulty against many mid to long range brawlers, but never take on a tank unless they're close to death. With her second gadget repot, she can also deal with annoying throwers in knockout maps like Bell's Rock or Gold Arm Gulch quite effectively. If you're hardcore, you could try maxing out her mastery and get her title Batstabber, which is at for a brawler with this kit. Unfortunately, since she's a silent assassin, Lily doesn't have any voice lines. But Draco surely does, and you can catch a sneak piece here. Subscribe. Subscribe.